Uh, another question just came in from Wayne. Wayne, what's up, buddy? Uh, Merry Christmas to you, Wayne, by the way. Uh, Wayne says, curious if you think a Google site's ability is diluted if you give it a domain name, so a custom domain versus keeping it on the Google URL. No, because if, uh, and I've, I've, talk, I've showed this in the mastermind way, and I can't assume that you've seen all of them now. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, Google site, when you cut, when you map a custom domain to it, both sites are still live and available on online. In other words, you can still view the site on the Google domain as well as view it on your own custom domain. And if you look the canonical on the cust on both, on both versions of it, the canonical is set to the custom domain. So you're still benefiting from the Google site, you are the, the Google domain. Um, because again, the site is live on both locations. You're just canonicalizing it and Google does this automatically. It canonicalizes it to the custom domain. So essentially you're just basically pushing the relevancy from the Google domain over to it anyways, but both pages will remain indexable. Does that make sense? Marco, do you want to comment on that? Yeah, this, this is the wonderful thing about the limitations of Google and Google sites, because th there's there's no real, like the CMS is very limited, right? The content management system. And in, in, in order for you to continue using, w whether it's a map domain or the G site, you need access to that content management system. And so Google keeps it live because that's the only way that you can manage the content is through Google CMS. And so that's why they add, which is just, a, it's, Wayne, think about it. It's perfect. It canonicalizes up to your, do, to your domain. So you, uh, I, I don't want to get too deep into <laughs> what you can do, but think of all the opportunities that you have. If you have a live Google URL, canonicalize up right. to your own uh, uh, custom domain. That's right. Think about that. Think about, think about, I'm not going to reveal it, but just guys think about logically, if you've got a Google site and the same exact site on a custom domain and the Google site is canonicalized to the custom domain, which of those should be your link targets? I'm not going to answer that. I want you guys to think about it and answer it. You should all know the answer to that. You should use one of those as your link target, your primary link target when you're doing ex external link building. Um, and there's a reason for that. So anyways, Again, that's one of those things. Uh, Jim says, 